Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome to another episode of Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. In the last episode we were starting to get to grips things, we've got some upgrades coming, we're starting to make a, a good amount of progress and I'm feeling pretty good about how things are going. I'm just waiting for that first permadeath. Yeah, we've got one unit that's uh, taken, I think it's one of three lives basically that they get and one of them's down already. But I think we're doing okay. It'd be great if there was a way to uh, you know, to reappeal that. I think in the last one we had a look at our map and it had a few directions for us to head to. I think we were heading to the left hand side. So we'll have a look as soon as that loads up and figure out where we want to go from there and just get straight back in to a bit of Nurgle crunching I suppose. If you enjoyed this, please do like, subscribe, comment, join us on the Patreon in the description down below. Anything you can do in any way whatsoever really does help me out. It helps the channel grow, it helps me just have a lot more fun doing it, and I appreciate every single part of that. So, for now, let's go and see what we can do. Okay, critical wound for Voldred Storm, unavail unavailable for missions. So does that mean... Ooh, bit of loading time there. Ooh. Okay, new knights are available from Titan at a small cost of requisition. You can get them at any time if your roster gets low. Upgrade the barracks to increase the rank. Okay, so we can get an interceptor. Cost two requisition, but it's only going to be rank one. So we don't want that because we have other units that we're not already using. And to be honest, I think I'd rather wait until we've got higher ranks on here anyway. So. Voldra Storm is a critical wound for four days. So that's our interceptor. Uh, it's just a car. This is the big tanky guy. So by the time we arrive at our destination, maybe he'll be alright? So I think we go here. Because this hasn't got anything. Yeah, so we're probably only going to be able to get two of these. So we're going to ignore that one. And just go for these two. And... There we go. Voldred is back. Recovered from critical wounds can join combat duty. We need to install the augment, joint reinforcement, and chief apothecary estimates. It would take 49 days to recover to full strength. Wow. Okay. So that's not good. We're going to have to deal with that, so maybe he's not in our current roster then. I love these little warp animations. They're so cool. And the, just this ship is so metal, so ridiculously over the top. So I guess then, we do want to start looking at equipping someone else up. Because we could wait a little bit for these to heal, but... Although, to be fair... What does this really change? Storm. Uh, he's going to have 13 wounds still? Are they all... Do you know what? Maybe we do just go back and try... Maybe we just try it with some new ones and see if they die. You know, we'll be optimistic. So let's go in here. We get Corruptors and Armory Access to Apothecary, Storm Bolter, and Power Armor. Eliminate Seed Carriers and win a mission without using grenades. Interesting. Okay, so I actually think that we can do this. Why can't I click it? Hello? Select? Oh, okay, there we go. We had to press that. I thought that would be a confirm button, but the confirm button's here, so I think we can do this without doing grenades, even if we're doing a bit of a weird thing. So, what have we got so far? Just a car, Purgator, Apothecary. So, these two just don't need grenades. So. I mean, we don't have another interceptor, so I guess we're probably just taking. Who do we want? Mithrak Bors or Cadon Rugen? Mithrak Bors. Um, okay, so can we change the loadouts here? Uh, okay, loadout. War gear slot. Ooh, what's equipment? Sacred Incest, plus two WP, a willpower. Uh, let's go back. We don't. I don't think we want that. I think we'll just go max servo skulls then. 
and then yeah so this one as well war gear slot servo skill equip to be honest I kind of just like oh that's the rotate button I like servo skills anyway so I'm okay with that uh, war gear slot nope not equipment servo skills okay Ooh, is that? Oh, you can return them to Titan for extra resource. Okay. So this is who we're going with. I mean, do we want to swap Darug Thul for Kadonarugan? I think so. Because now we've got lesser injured, we get more, uh, more sort of spread out resources. And we can try to go without grenades anyway, so we just need to, again, load out this. Servo skull. And so we've got Storm Bolter, Storm Bolter, Storm Bolter, Darius Bolter. Okay. Do you know what? I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. As long as our guys don't die. And these seem reasonable. We've got two tanky guys, two further back guys. Win a mission without using grenades. Plus one. There you go. It's green now. Got no grenades. Let's do this. I believe in the Grey Knights. Not... Not particularly sure I believe in me, but the Grey Knights should do the job. So far I think I've been very confident. I've been running in and just been like, yeah, I'll be able to tank it all. And now that I've lost my first sort of... You had my first big injury, I'm slightly concerned that that may not be the case every time. I might be making a bit of a mistake here. So it's time to start playing maybe a little bit more cautiously and seeing what we can do about this. Let's... I mean, I'm I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet. I'm very much like, I've had some advice from, from some friends, and I'll be honest, I've mostly ignored it, so apologies to both of you who've given me good advice. I am, <laughs> like, I've taken some on board, but not the rest, and I'm very much looking to just uh, have a bit of fun with this, and, you know, I do think their advice was good. I should probably listen to it, but... I'm still feeling a little bit like I'm getting used to things, so I don't want to try and take in too much additional information and just try and get... You start nailing the mechanics before going into extra depth. So, uh, you may have noticed as well on the channel recently... Ooh, oh, there's a continue button. I may, that might have been there for a while. don't think it was. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, down with the guard. Oh no, biomass. The dids might be coming. Your brethren must recover one of these seeds from a living host. I have yeah. trained your warriors to focus their senses. If they perform a precision strike in hand-to-hand combat, Ooh, precision strike. they will be able to locate and extract any seed so, present within the foe. I think that's a crit, isn't it? So let's... There's one over here. So let's go here first and hope this doesn't reveal it. Okay, good. Uh, no, you can go. You can go here. It doesn't matter which order we go. Next big chonker can go up. In fact, we will send this unit up first. Let's go to here. This shouldn't trigger anything. Uh, and if it does, then it's a shame. And then hopefully our last guy can go slightly further up and maybe trigger it. So if he goes here. This might trigger the uh, extra abilities. Ooh, nice big jump there. So we haven't revealed those fully. Okay, so the next one to reveal is up there or up here. Which way do we want to go? What? I still can't figure out what these are. I I know it must have told me at some point, but I've forgotten completely. So let's just move up some defensive positions first. Oh, that's a weird route to go, but sure. <laughs> Just over the boxes for the fun of it. Okay, and I guess this just needs to be up as well. And then we get our... Ooh. Oh, it's the bloomy turn. Of course it is. Those little things around the outside was like... Uh... So which way do we want to go? I mean, they're quite far away, and they're moving that direction, it looks like. Ooh, that's something we can chop down. 
Maybe these are just things we can shoot. Let's start by going here. This feels relatively safe. I'm hoping that... Oh, it does trigger it. Oh, well. Ooh, you look lovely. That's like me on a bad day. I'm kidding. That's me on a good day. Okay, so we've got some disgusting creatures. There it is. Commander, harvest the seed from that creature's flesh. Lovely. Okay, so we need to melee crits. Can we get anywhere here and still shoot? So let's just move here first and then try can we get a range shot off here? We can. Uh does so Cybot doesn't do enough there to worry about. So we'll just start taking some damage off of it. Go to our other ranged guy. And we'll try and do basically the same. We'll go one square further up. So one tile, I suppose, so we can make the same move. So, what does Cyborg do? It, oh, it just bleeds, doesn't it? Yeah, so we're fine without this. should just kill it. Glory to um, this guy probably wants to just move here and then shield on himself. And then maybe just do the same with this. So we want these in front, because these are our big chonkers. And then we will... You know what? We could overwatch this quite nicely. This seems reasonable to me. So maybe we should have done this the other way around, or just overwatch both, but... Um, and do we have anything else here? So we can just... We can range attack this... Cybot does kill it, so there we go. We might as well do that here. Oh, that got a bit loud in my headphones then. Okay, so let's change this to fast. Let's see if the enemy. Right, there you go. So they've run in. I didn't destroy the seed. That idiot ran in and blew himself up. I didn't destroy anything. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, okay, so he's actually taking damage. Bloom rises. Okay, so this we're absolutely going to get the warp storm thing happening again. Uh, this we can force strike just to get this kill. This unit can do the same. Although, if we don't need to force strike, we shouldn't do, should we? Because I think that is a negative. Uh, I guess you can... Uh, in fact, no. You can move to here. Oh, we do we're not getting good at this whole just about trigger it thing. Because I could have healed these for free. So let's go here first, maybe? Or do we want to go... I mean, we could try here. And then see if this overwatching makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that's a good overwatch location. Ready to fire. Uh, without getting too bogged down. Uh, this unit probably just wants to play, play healer. We don't want to take any risks here. Nope, that's not what I meant to click. There you go. Set target there. There we go. Healing him up. So, what does this do? I don't like it that we're probably going to mess up our eliminating seed carriers thing. We pop him over this way, because that's fairly safe. And then this... Can we shoot anything? Okay, so what if we attack this first. Oh, okay. 
Oh god, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, tank yourself up a little bit there, my friend. You need as much armor as possible. That is really not very clever. Uh, yes, yeah, move there. So, can we shoot things? We can. Does Cybolt do it? Not quite. So, I think we just shoot it. Uh, this one, I w again, I don't think we need to rush the bloom rising. Okay, I'm not feeling confident right now. Plagued. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, not so fast. Yeah, I think we're not doing very well here. Oh, this guy is so dead. I did not expect him to jump that far. Okay, does that look like a block of some sort? Oh good, more more stuff happening. This guy needs healing fast. Do we not get to attack back or something? Stop hurting me! Okay. Oh god, it's so close. We might okay, we, we lived. What can I do here? Um So we can just shoot the uh, shoot this regularly. Surely we can just melee attack one of these, or shoot, I guess. Uh, and then, what if we take off range attack and just? Strike one of these. Okay, so if we take all of these out, maybe we're okay. And then this guy can come here and then figure out if we can servo skull this guy back to life. At least getting some health back. That's a good start. Uh, okay, let's move to this guy. He can just melee here. And just end this rather than take any risks. And we'll deal with this one up here later. So we'll skull here again. Um, okay, so what's this? Alright, yeah. Uh, gain four armor. I mean, we might as well gain the armor, I guess. Or can we shoot there? No, but we can move. Okay, there's the rest of them. So we need to find the big boomy one and just run at it. This is our last chance, I think. So we're going to try and just keep our distance from all of this to begin with. Wait, can I not even... Oh, wrong button. So what does this guy want to do? Um, can we shoot that weapons cache at the back? Probably not very easily. Uh, so let's... Let's go to here. Uh, how much AP have we got left? Two. So that costs two. This costs one. So I'm going to do one here. And then I'm going to overwatch, I think. This angle. Yep. I kind of wish I could heal that... Why am I plagued? I don't understand. Oh, I've got no more actions left. Okay. 
Uh, excuse me. Oh my god, we're gonna lose him. Okay, we, we shot something. Oh, please don't lose him. Yeah, please don't lose him. Yeah, 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 don't do it, don't do it. No! Okay, so that doesn't mean he's dead. We can do other things first. So yeah, we can kill this. This is a good start. Where's the... Where's the target? This is the target, so... What if we go this way and four strike this, trying to kill it? This could do the job. Uh, extract seeds, there we go. Perfect. A warp rift opened. Enemies will arrive to seek retribution next turn. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't know this was a thing. So can we... I mean we can attack these still. So I guess we might as well do that. Because we can't servo skull... We can servo skull there. Okay, that's a good choice. Because now we might be able to kill everything. Oh, and that doesn't take an attack up. Okay, so let's go for this. End that guy. End this guy. Okay, we're doing it. And then potentially end this guy as well with the same guy. Yep, there we go. So if we've cleared everyone out, is that the end of the mission? Uh, I guess you heal yourself. Is there anything else? What was the mission? Where's the hold for extraction for three turns? Oh god. Um. Okay. I guess you move somewhere defensive. And Overwatch over here, I suppose? Oh, there's a guy down there. Oops. Maybe that's why we couldn't do it. I didn't notice that guy still. Yeah, if we kill him, does that save us? Explode for five damage and knockback. Okay, so there's more guys coming. We just need to live. This isn't likely, but it's possible. I, I can't believe I ignored that guy. We could have potentially killed him. Yeah, more reinforcements here. So basically, we need to pick a flank and go in that direction. And we're going to get the warp surge yet. Okay. Uh, teleportation is disabled for five turns. That's fine. We weren't going to do it anyway. Because I'd forgotten it was even a thing we could do. So, we might be able to get there. What if we went this way? So there's one big unit this direction. So we could potentially just push through there. We've got two guys there and one over here this way. So, I mean, this guy can probably just clear this out. So, four strike might work. Because if it crits, I think this kills him. So let's four strike. Let's go for this. As our first option. Okay, no crit. But we'll just slap him around. Uh, okay, well we really want him to live. Anyone got a servo skull back up? No. I don't know if they actually do come back up. That's the problem. Um, what if we got this guy to shoot that? Can that work? Let's let's see what happens. 
range attack. Okay, so it doesn't actually hit him, does it? It looks like it might do. Let's cancel that for now. And I guess there's the cancel. Nope, that doesn't do anything there. So we can poke over here a little. So I guess we poke there. Cybolt, get a bit more damage in. Yeah? Yeah, try and poke a little bit. Uh, not what I was trying to do. I mean, you can just go here, I think. And shield yourself. And then this guy can also just go somewhere defensive like this. And try and shoot down here if we can do. And we've got a much clearer shot here, so let's cyborg this. Try and get about half the damage off so that we can maybe do it again next turn to clear him out. We're just hoping that not enough things come from behind us to deal with this. We can shoot this to like the little uh, terrain thing in the middle to clear it out. We're just trying to push one direction basically and hope that we can save ourselves from the opposite one. There you go. If they stop there, we can shoot that, blow it up and probably just easily kill them. And that saves us from the overwatch as well. Yep, so these guys coming all from behind. Is he blowing up or just doing nasty things? Oh my god, they are fast. That's ridiculous speed. That's not good at all. Okay, well there's lots of sound there, but no animations, so I'm not really sure what happened. And there's more. So. Shooty guy. Shoot this. Confirm. What? Why do I get shot? He was one of the chosen. Okay, so we can shoot any of these three to kill them, which is good. So I think we're going to just, again, try and clear these out and run. Uh, we've got two actions left, so we can clear this one, I assume. I don't think we can clear that without moving. Yeah, we have to move first, so we'll just clear that. Oh, we don't have ammo. Um... In that case, we don't want to do that yet. We want to probably reload. Weapon and then move to someone else to figure out what we're going to do first. So, who's our tankiest one at the moment? Five, this guy. So, I bet he needs to deal with that. So, let's. Uh, sure, you can run away down here because you're not as tough. He can shoot. Oh, I keep I keep pressing escape by mistake. So this guy can come up here and slap. And just punch him. Uh, how much AP have we got left? Two. So we can still go here for one. And we can heal. Oh, not heal. Shield ourselves. There we go. Right, so now I feel safer there. Uh, in fact, I mean, we can just kill that, but I think, honestly, we should just be... Uh, in fact, let's just set up multiple Overwatch channels. And then... So he's got two AP left. I keep pressing escape. So what if we put him here for yes, one AP sir. and then again overwatch in this direction? It makes us a little weaker to that direction. And then hopefully this might be enough. 
We get extracted next turn? So anyone alive? It did take one turn remaining. Okay, that went well. At least we killed the big thing before it got there. Hopefully they can... Oh no. Okay, we put armor up, it's fine. Maybe he's going to live. He's going to live through all this. Armor's, armor's useful. Yes, recovery, come on. It looks like we made it. I honestly thought we were going to start losing people there. I was just like, please, please don't kill me. Now we have to go listen to Lunette again. Ugh. Like, I know Lunette's on my team and they're helpful and they're, you know, obviously good at what they do, but that's not a voice you want to hear. It's just so piercing and gravelly and obviously it's the 40k universe. Everything's a little bit piercing and gravelly, and, but it's usually just the big sort of like, we should fight for the Emperor. That's what you get usually more than like, Grit, like gritty, grizzled, electro, sort of husky, weird, creepy robot voice. Sounds like a rusty fork being dragged across some like metallic gravel. R pretending to be vocal cords, of course, at the same time. Okay, so here's the baleful edict. That's it. With it still got holes in the top, but who knows? Maybe we'll be able to fix some of that now. Okay, what have we got? A nice little happy troop. And I'm glad we managed to do that with two new units as well. So we've got eliminated all sea carriers for two requisition. Hold for extraction. And win one without using grenades for an additional one. Ten servitors. And I don't know how any of this stuff works. Do we actually just get it? Or do we need access to it? Or... Oh, we can... Here we go. Okay, so this is what requisition's for. It's for actually buying upgrades. Okay. So this tells us to buy Grey Knight Apothecary or send from Titans to join your forces. But we've got an Apothecary. Aurelian's Verdict. So it's a tier 1. Add 2 damage to range attack. Overwatch, yeah. Okay. I mean, how do I know what rarity these are? Why won't this go away? Is there a way of knowing what rarity this is? So this is... Yeah, damage, range, ammo... I want to be able to compare this to what I've already got. But I don't know how to do that. What's this? Mantle of Will. This knight has plus two max willpower. Willpower is used for active abilities. Knights in power armor are able to climb obstacles above their height. I mean, it also just gives... What was this? Uh, amount of damage a unit can suffer before being destroyed or for knights critically wounded. A representation of a unit's psychic power. Okay, so it's just... Oh, it's health points. Why did I have to read... I didn't read the title. I just saw, like, ooh, what is this? So, health points and willpower boost... I kind of like the look of this, and maybe the bolter. I don't feel like we need the apothecary quite yet. But... We have only got one apothecary. Let's take all three. Let's be greedy early on and figure out what we're doing later. Sure. we got extra stuff anyway. Anyone promoting? No. I thought somebody went up to four. Or maybe that was just gaining four XP. And all of these are nice and healthy. I thought some of these would level up for sure. Come on. They didn't even get 50. Ugh. And they're all wounded, of course. Yes. Uh, Vakir. Here we go. So this is in progress. So what's the, is this the seed one? Yeah, so what I'm actually going to do is just travel slightly before doing that. Uh, ship status. I keep forgetting I can't click on different specific things. Uh, what are we working on at the moment? Okay, so that is still going. Which was this? Oh, research speed, yep. So what I'm actually going to do is just I'm going to start moving towards the next map because this will give us our upgrades while we're moving. Ooh. Yeah, get that ship flying. 
So we'll be able to upgrade our, sorry, finish our research and start the next research. And then from that point, we should be able to just call it a day from there and get our little upgrades. Two days, there we go. Uh, while you've been busy, I've been, sorry, research project complete, warp field penetration. While you've been busy, I've been probing the planet, sorry, the plague's thormic defenses and found a weak spot that we can penetrate. It's a minor breakthrough sufficient to deliver only modest aid to your knights on the ground, but a small tear can become a gaping rent if enough pressure is applied. Rent? Surely rend. Either way. Start new research. Ooh, stratagems. We'll have to look at that in a second. So research menu, we know we're going across to the seed. So this gives us requisition and prerequisites poxwalker necropsy. The Poxwalker carcass carried remains, remnants of a corrupt seed that was destroyed along with its carrier. I need to study an intact seed recovered from a live host in order to ascertain how they function to spread this plague. There we go. Research. Go ahead. Awesome. What are stratagems? Target a knight who gains plus two action points. I don't know how that works. I'm assuming it's something we can use in battle, like cards and things, but... I don't know how that actually functions, so that's not the most useful. Uh, we have now got our little armory, haven't we? Oh, next report is in 45 days, my goodness. Oh yeah, because this was how we chose what armor we wanted, wasn't it? So we chose armor, ranged, and knights. Okay. Interesting. So maybe we actually want some war gear, but we can't change that yet. So let's go to our barracks and see what we can do with what we've got. So these two are healed up, which is not... Oh no, this is our new one. Genhain Mir. So he's actually the same as our other apothecary. So both of these are coming on our next battle, but we want our apothecaries to be fairly tanky. So I guess we go for loadout, armor. And we have now got two types of power armor. So this is just regular power armor. This one gives two health and two willpower, which is used for active abilities. And active abilities, we've got our. Uh, here we go. Ah, there we go. We can heal people more. So, yeah, this is great for this. We can heal people more because of this armor. Yeah, that's what we want. Empress Judgment, target blast over area 3, range 15 to afflict, afflict hobbled and ignore cover. And then Overwatch. Yeah, so this guy's getting that. I mean, that is also pretty badass looking. Uh, melee weapon. Ooh, Crozius Arcanum is class restricted, but it looks cool. We've got so many different options. What's he got here? Narthesium? Oh, this is the Healy thing. Wait, have we got a Healy weapon? Hey? Oh, that gives Battlefield medicine. Oh, so there's just upgrades on these. So what's this? Crit damage, and this is crit chance. Surely we just want this deliverer. It's 5% crit. Or is that equipped somewhere else? I mean, it's just actively better, so I guess we equip that. Sure. Range weapon. Okay, so now we can actually compare our new fancy bolt. So we've got... What is this? Darius Bolt from Forgiveness. I think this may mean they're equipped to something. But what's this one? So regular one... I'm just going to look at what the difference is. So it's got a bigger clip. Oh, okay, and it's got upgrades available to Cybolt. Okay, so this is definitely for like a fully ranged damage unit. So, so let's select a knight. Who do we want? In fact, let's just. It's easier to look at from this perspective. So it's not going to be the Apothecary, maybe the Interceptor, but he's going to be wounded forever. So maybe it is Darig Thor the Purgator. He's got Darig Spite. Okay, that's a two-handed weapon, so we can't do that one, because we want to keep that. So maybe it will just be... So has this... That's the level one guy, so... Let's look at Voldred Storm. Let's see what his uh, range weapon can be. So he's currently got Forgiveness, which gives it plus one crit damage. And, yep, yeah, that's it. Again, it's weird that you can't just hover them side by side to compare. So instead of crit damage, this is an upgrade to Cybolt. Which can potentially be more damage, yeah. 
I think this is what we want on him. We do need to research the ability to upgrade things. Okay. Uh, strategium. Right. There we go. So we've got an idea of uh, how things are going. We can make it to our next destination in time to attack some more bloom and see what loot we can get. So let's just make our way over there and get the sweet little animation. I do love this animation. It just... Ooh. Get another, like, city planet, I guess. There we go. So we've got to this point. We know what we're doing next. We've got potentially more and more loot coming as well. Ooh. Win a mission with only three knights. That's an interesting one. Right, that's a deliberation for next time. So for now, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I've been enjoying it as well. I feel like we're getting a bit beefier. We are still treading those fine lines between taking too much damage and you know, potentially not doing so great. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that in the future. But for now, if you enjoyed it, please do like, comment, subscribe, head over to the Patreon in the description if you wanna support the channel. It's the best way to do so. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have a good day.